Welcome everyone to the sound of music. It's like ape escape, but it's a never ending hell that you can't escape. So it's oh, just yeah. ape. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, a little bit uh, backwards in the topic thing, but yeah, uh, the Ratchet and Clank thing, I remember that one scene that I forgot to mention. Yeah. Which was actually when they added something instead of, you know, changed it. Again, Ratchet and Clank seems to have gone pretty light in terms of, you know, changes. It's yeah. only like, give him thick eyebrows for some reason. Why? Thick eyebrows. Oh, wait. Is there anything up here, by the way? There's one bottle that I missed okay. at, like, the very end. Okay. I thought this was the way you were supposed to go, which was the no. only reason I was going this way. No. Well, now I just feel dumb. Oh, that You is... did the exact same yeah. thing I did. I thought that was a... Okay. In fact, um, I did it about four times. Yeah, in the Ratchet and Clank Deadlocked uh, game, Yeah. Um, when... Uh, Hal... Was it Hal? Al. Al. That's it. It Big upgrades... Um, Ratchet's armor, he has a Super Henshin style transformation sequence. That's beautiful. Um, and surprisingly fitting. Yeah. But yeah, Ratchet and Clank got sort of very light. Um, the, the Sony platforms don't tend to get, you know, many changes, even the Japanese version. They just get made a little bit cutesier. Hmm. Um, Cutesy God of War. That'd be great. I want to see Kratos with thick eyebrows. Oh no, that is Kratos. God of War. I said platformer. God of War got censored a lot, but. God of War could be a platformer. I'd play it. <laughs> play it more than actual God of War. Mm. Well, to be fair, to be fair, back in the day, Splathouse had a cute chibi, a chibi side game made for it. They can always do the same with uh, God of War nowadays. Yeah, we've spent far too long just doing this. I, I'm room. sorry, I'm distracted by the monkeys. They are very distracting. <laughs> it's kind of uh, driving me insane. <laughs> And you can't kill them. I tried. Yeah. I tried killing them the moment I got in here. Because why wouldn't I try and commit murder? That's my first instinct. Yeah. Wait, this is the beginning. Is it? It's gone back, yeah. That was the entrance gate. What? Okay. Let me see then. You can't get yeah. up. Well, I guess I'm doing this level now. Well, um, we get to re <laughs> oh, we get to return to. Ha ha! This is a never ending battle we can't escape from. I was only joking. He's still here than that. Um. Come on, I believe in you. Yeah, I was talking about. Ah, okay. Uh... Oh, that's pretty impressive. But not impressive enough. Uh, oh, see God. here. I need a strat. No, I think I know what right. I need to do. I need to do that thing, but then immediately let go. But the camera spins you really weird. Unless I can do it from here. Come on. Or we could give up. That is always an option in life, but... It's a pretty solid option as well. Or maybe... Nah. Um, Doesn't work. I think it... I think I know what we're supposed to do. In that bit where we jumped off to go to the beginning, you probably just walk to the right. And there's probably like a platform you can jump to which will spin around and then you can jump down from there to those platforms. Possibly. That'd be my guess. Um, so I've talked about uh, Battle for Azeroth. So, like a, oh, yeah. I've Because um, of the events I've currently done with my two mains, um, I'm leveling up one of my other characters for a bit. Yeah. So I'm doing the campaign, Order Hall campaign stuff for the Death Knights. And oh, wait, World of Warcraft? Yeah. Oh, you're playing World of Warcraft again? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah to get back into... For battles of, Battle for Azeroth, because... Oh, yeah, because that thrilling story needed to be Because you, you can never escape that. You start and it drags I you back. I did. Yeah, but you didn't like it. It's ironic that you brought the game 
to play with your friend, and you are the only one that. Ah, uh, there I, I see it. Smooth. Yeah, it's got like a weird magnet pull if you press circle above. Well, the combat's not very down. fun in my opinion. Yeah, that's fair. And you that. know, it. You know, it, it, I guess it was the start of me thinking. You know, I don't like these style of games. You know, this sort of. Uh, yeah. What I need to do is went up here, go the other way. Yeah, there's a zipline. Um, whereas I surprisingly enjoy it. Um, as did uh, our oldest brother, as did our mother. I do feel that Wrath of the King to Kata was the best period where it had... <sighs> oh yes, I gotta jump first. We just... Yeah. Um, and I wish I could go back and play it, because like, um, it's mostly the talent system. The, um, the you saw me! The new talent system and everything is a bit too simple. Yeah, the Pokemon Let's Go situation, eh? Yeah. Oh. Um. Uh, is it gonna come? Okay, thank you. But we've learned from Pokemon. We've learned in recent times Pokemon is apparently just too gosh darn hard for some people. Yeah, yeah. So I guess there were people who did the equivalent of World uh, of Warcraft. There must have been. But I liked how much customization you had. It's like, cool, here's your talent trees. Pick out of all these weird abilities and passives and stuff. And then if you pick so many, you can get bits from another talent in it. Classes felt more interesting because there was, there was oh, more freedom to what you could do. So, of course, you could just build whatever meta was currently in. But if you didn't care about the meta like I, each person, even if you were playing the same class, it felt different. Whereas now, there's like, what, you have... A tan at level 15, and that's every 15 levels up till yeah. 60. Then you get one at 80, one at 90, and one at 100 or something like that. I think. And you you only get three. Uh, I know where the others are, but I didn't think of no other way to get to them. You only get um three choices per set. So level 15, you have the choice between three abilities. So chances are most people are going to end up with the same set. Mm. Probably shouldn't try to go back and get the bottles, eh? No, let's not. Because if I have to listen to those monkeys again, I <laughs> will uh, hang myself. Um, but yeah, like I don't know. I liked the I like games that give me a lot of freedom and creativity with my stuff because then it feels like even if me and someone else are playing the same type of character it's different the problem now is oh we've got all the keys here i'll oh, open cool. up the next section then now where is that next oh here that's convenient <laughs> literally in front of you like playing as a warlock demonology warlock i feel the same as all the other demonology warlocks was that not enough Hit him. Oh. They're very quiet fireworks. That was. They also all stayed stuck together. Oh, ton of money. That was a horrible sound effect. I don't know what he's saying. Words. Why would you put locks on the actual fireworks? Should we have a cabinet for them? That. Sounds like a terrible idea. What about that other one percent? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. <laughs> 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 nice. Nice. Right That's your response <laughs> being killed. Nice. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we haven't got. We're already eight minutes in, so let's try and see if I can do a short one. Fire, so a disparate. Yeah, rapid fire assault. Let's find that one. I think that's up top here. Probably. Oh. I think you have to go on those blue eyes.
You know, if they didn't make their building so convoluted, you wouldn't be able to sneak around nearly as much. Oh, yep, one of these again. Ah, this was nice and quick last time. <laughs> yeah, we'll do this and stop for the day. We've got a decent amount now. Yeah. Is this part 20? Only part 20? Oh, yeah, because I'm playing, yeah. That's part 20. Even on Thank God you managed to shop anything up by doing that. I've seen Murray so little that I've actually just started calling him Bentley. Well. Yeah, no, we've done that a few times actually. Uh, yes. A monkey hatch seems like a normal thing to have. When you're a hatch. monkey? It's a monkey. Oh, power. a monkey hatch, V said a monkey hat. No. Plenty of people have monkey shaped hats. Well, monkey themed hats. Um, yeah, the Death Knight uh, class campaign. Um, you're basically resurrecting, you're trying to rebuild the uh, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, because you killed them. They're not actually Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, but that's, that's their title. Uh, oh, that was their thing. Oh, let's say, oh gosh, what's that ringing sound? Yeah, there's a horrible, horrible noise. This is so much easier than the ghost. Yeah. And you know, there's no projectiles at the moment. I'm assuming that'll change. But... Yeah, that'll probably... Uh, probably be a sword dude or something. Um... But yeah, so you're creating the four horsemen by resurrecting really powerful dead people. Uh, you're just not telling any of the other lots that you're doing it because funnily enough most people don't like the death knights and they don't like their dead people being meddled with yeah um but we're doing it anyway so first we resurrect one of the orcs without telling them because <laughs> that'll go down well um general nazgrim nazgrim's okay, actually okay Nazgrim's pretty down to do it, his response basically being, I get to kill things again. Good. Um, way of life. Then we uh, resurrect uh, the king of one of the old human factions, the uh, king of Stromgard. Um, it was known for its offence primarily, but its Stromgard makes a bit more of sense of the name. Stromgard. Stromgard. Not strong guard, but funny joke. Um, Iron Wolves got us. <laughs> he um, he uh, was the wielder of a sword that became known as Trollbane because it killed a lot of trolls. And then we resurrected the troll. Uh, just to be awkward. But we you need this troll. You need Trollbane to be able to open the door to his coffin. So um, we have to get his undead son to help us out. His undead son uh, is a douche uh, on account of having killed his father to become king of Strongard and betrayed Sylvanus because he wanted to be king of Strongard. Um, oh, you need to see how quick this is. Yes, yeah, this, this does this end. I'm trying to, but every time I try to get close and get hit. Is this is this really game design? Okay, being so far away I'm not sure if I'm actually hitting it. There's a thing. There we go, yeah I am hitting it. This is taking twelve years. There we go. Cool, thank God. Ah. That ended. And is this gonna be more? Um uh, yeah so the uh, prince gets us to do a bunch of stuff. We do it. And then he's like, Yeah, I'm not letting you resurrect my dad because I don't want to give the kingdom up to him. Uh, guards, kill him. Oh. So, in response to that, General Nazgrim says, I'm going to murder this coward. And Farazan, your other ally that's with you, says, Yeah, my patience has run out. Let's kill him. Uh, the range on this thing is terrible. Um, so we kill him, take the sword, resurrect his dad. His dad's upset because he raised his son up to be a douche uh, and his kingdom's falling apart. But you say, hey, demons are invading. You want to kill him? 
And he's like, yeah, let's do that. And then for our next step, we, um, why are you breaking it? Oh, I was trying to get more points to get another horseshoe. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Um, I was just confused because it didn't look like you were picking up the points. Oh no, I'm trying to, but avoiding getting hit. Yeah. Why didn't you kill the guy first, then do This is why I'm trying to get a horseshoe. But, as I say, you haven't played shot at him now. Because for some reason, hits don't kill him in one hit. Yeah. Because guns aren't that strong. As we all know. Yeah, just a quick thing I wanted to mention. Um, yeah. Smashboards the other day, which I have been taking part in their Rate Your Chances, the other day they had a Nintendo character I did not know of. Oh yeah, you mentioned about this. Yeah. Weird, and I didn't like it. Pablo and Satoporo. Yeah. Uh, they were apparently the uh, Nintendo DS to Teleview mascots. And I had never heard of them. I'm not sure I'd support them for Smash Bros, because their inclusion seems a bit weird, but at least they're Nintendo characters, so... Heck, that's better than what I usually hear. Yeah, we we, we have Ryu in the game. Hmm. Um, we have in the game. Look, in fact, if they wanted a fighting game character, Urban Champion would have been better than Ryu, and that's sad. Urban Champion is going to be the final boss. <laughs> Maybe we'll get Urban Champion revealed. <laughs> uh, like, Urban Champion and a new Urban Champion game. Oh man, that, that, would, that would be something. Uh, be something right. Um, but they, but they did, but there was a character show, uh, uh, that ended up uh, finding out about how to support Fred. Because I checked, because nowadays the rate of chance is the person said, okay, only characters who have a support Fred. Because everyone was like, wait, so Taboro and Pablo have a support Fred? And they're like, yes, they do. Amazing. Um, but one character I didn't really consider, but, and I don't consider it in the way they're considering it, uh, Volleyball Girl. Volleyball girl. From Nez Volleyball. Oh. The reason I thought about considering the character, like, people started considering it because of uh, she was one of the mystery mushrooms in Super Mario Maker. That's interesting. But the thing that makes me think about her is the fact that because they've got a character they have, you know, not, you know, specifically focused on now, of Volleyball Girl, they could have a character representing the Nez Sports. Because yeah. that was originally a series they had. Nez Hockey, he, uh, the Nez Football, Nez uh, American Football. Uh, apparently also included it include two RC Pro-Am games, uh, Pro Wrestling, um, two Nez Golf games. Um, you could have a character to represent all of those sort of Nez Sports games. That'd be cool. You know, much like how Duck Hunt Dog represents all the Zap Zapper games. You know, he represents uh, Wild West Gunman as well. Yeah. And stuff like that. So, you I'll always have someone like that. And I think the colour's finally gone. Yep, it's gone. Yeah. So, so that's the thing to end the episode on. Perfect time, yeah. Yeah. Cheer, everyone. Peace.